The naval battle of Guadalcanal, sometimes referred to as the third and fourth battles of Savor Island, the Battle of the Solomons, the Battle of Friday the 13th, or, in Japanese sources, the Third Battle of the Solomon Sea, took place from 12 to 15 November 1942, and was the decisive engagement in a series of naval battles between Allied and Imperial Japanese forces during the months-long Guadalcanal campaign in the Solomon Islands during World War II. The action consisted of combined air and sea engagements over four days, most near Guadalcanal and all related to a Japanese effort to reinforce land forces on the island. The only two U.S. Navy admirals to be killed in a surface engagement in the war were lost in this battle. Allied forces, primarily from the U.S., had landed on Guadalcanal on 7 August 1942 and seized an airfield, later called Henderson Field, that was under construction by the Japanese military. There were several subsequent attempts by the Imperial Japanese Army and Navy, using reinforcements delivered to Guadalcanal by ship, to recapture the airfield, which ultimately failed. In early November 1942, the Japanese organized a transport convoy to take 7,000 infantry troops and their equipment to Guadalcanal to attempt once again to retake the airfield. Several Japanese warship forces were assigned to bombard Henderson Field with the goal of destroying Allied aircraft that posed a threat to the convoy. Learning of the Japanese reinforcement effort, U.S. forces launched aircraft and warship attacks to defend Henderson Field and prevent the Japanese ground troops from reaching Guadalcanal. In the resulting battle, both sides lost numerous warships in two extremely destructive surface engagements at night. Nevertheless, the U.S. succeeded in turning back attempts by the Japanese to bombard Henderson Field with battleships. Allied aircraft also sank most of the Japanese troop transports and prevented the majority of the Japanese troops and equipment from reaching Guadalcanal. Thus, the battle turned back Japan's last major attempt to dislodge Allied forces from Guadalcanal and nearby Tulungi, resulting in a strategic victory for the U.S. and its allies in deciding the ultimate outcome of the Guadalcanal campaign in their favor. Background the six-month Guadalcanal campaign began on 7 August 1942, when Allied forces landed on Guadalcanal, Tulungi, and the Florida Islands in the Solomon Islands, a pre-war colonial possession of Great Britain. The landings were meant to prevent the Japanese using the islands as bases from which to threaten the supply routes between the U.S. and Australia, and to secure them as starting points for a campaign to neutralize the major imperial Japanese military base at Rabaul in support of the Allied New Guinea campaign. The Japanese had occupied Tulungi in May 1942 and began constructing an airfield on Guadalcanal in June 1942. By nightfall on 8 August, the 11,000 Allied troops secured Tulungi, the nearby small islands, and a Japanese airfield under construction at Lunga Point on Guadalcanal. Allied aircraft operating out of Henderson were called the Cactus Air Force, after the Allied code name for Guadalcanal. To protect the airfield, the U.S. Marines established a perimeter defense around Lunga Point. Additional reinforcements over the next two months increased the number of U.S. troops at Lunga Point to more than 20,000 men. In response, the Japanese Imperial General Headquarters assigned the Imperial Japanese Army's 17th Army, a corps-sized command based at Rabaul and under the command of Lieutenant General Harukichi Hayakutake, with the task of retaking Wadalcanal. Units of the 17th Army began to arrive on Wadalcanal on 19 August to drive Allied forces from the island. Because of the threat by CAF aircraft based at Henderson Field, the Japanese were unable to use large, slow transport ships to deliver troops and supplies to the island. Instead, they used warships based at Rabaul and the Shortland Islands. 
The Japanese warships, mainly light cruisers or destroyers from the 8th Fleet under the command of Vice Admiral Gunichi Mikawa, were usually able to make the round trip down the slot to Waddle Canal and back in a single night, thereby minimizing their exposure to air attack. Delivering the troops in this manner, however, prevented most of the soldiers' heavy equipment and supplies, such as heavy artillery, vehicles, and much food and ammunition, from being carried to Waddle Canal with them. These high-speed warship runs to Waddle Canal occurred throughout the campaign and came to be known as the Tokyo Express by Allied forces and RAT, transportation, by the Japanese. The first Japanese attempt to recapture Henderson Field failed when a 917-man force was defeated on 21 August in the Battle of the Tenaru. The next attempt took place from 12 to 14 September, ending in the defeat of the 6,000 men under the command of Major General Kiyotake Kawaguchi at the Battle of Edson's Ridge. In October, the Japanese again tried to recapture Henderson Field by delivering 15,000 more men, mainly from the Army's 2nd Infantry Division, to Waddle Canal, in addition to delivering the troops and their equipment by Tokyo Express runs. The Japanese also successfully pushed through one large convoy of slower transport ships enabling the approach of the transport convoy was a nighttime bombardment of Henderson Field by two battleships on 14 October that heavily damaged the airfield's runways, destroyed half of the CAF's aircraft and burned most of the available aviation fuel. In spite of the damage, Henderson personnel were able to restore the two runways to service and replacement aircraft and fuel were delivered gradually restoring the CAF to its pre-bombardment level over the next few weeks. The next Imperial attempt to retake the island with the newly arrived troops occurred from 20 to 26 October and was defeated with heavy losses in the battle for Henderson Field. At the same time, Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto defeated U.S. naval forces in the Battle of the Santa Cruz Islands, driving them away from the area. The Japanese carriers, however, were also forced to retreat because of losses to carrier aircraft and air crews. Thereafter, Yamamoto's ships returned to their main bases at Truk in Micronesia, where he had his headquarters, and Rabaul while three carriers returned to Japan for repairs and refitting. The Japanese army planned another attack on Waddle Canal in November 1942, but further reinforcements were needed before the operation could proceed. The army requested assistance from Yamamoto to deliver the needed reinforcements to the island and to support their planned offensive on the Allied forces guarding Henderson Field. To support the reinforcement effort, Yamamoto provided 11 large transport ships to carry 7,000 army troops from the 38th Infantry Division, their ammunition, food, and heavy equipment from Rabaul to Waddle Canal. He also sent a warship support force from Truk on 9 November which included the battleships Hiei and Kirishima, equipped with special fragmentation shells. They were to bombard Henderson Field on the night of 12-13 November and destroy it and the aircraft stationed there in order to allow the slow, heavy transports to reach Waddle Canal and unload safely the next day. The warship force was commanded from Hiei by recently promoted Vice Admiral Hiroki Abe. Because of the constant threat by Japanese aircraft and warships, it was difficult for Allied forces to resupply their forces on Waddle Canal, which were often under attack from Imperial land and sea forces in the area. In early November 1942, Allied intelligence learned that the Japanese were preparing again to try to retake Henderson Field. Therefore, the U.S. sent Task Force 67, a large reinforcement and resupply convoy, split into two groups and commanded by Rear Admiral Richmond K. Turner, to Waddle Canal on the 11th of November. 
The supply ships were protected by two task groups, commanded by Rear Admirals Daniel J. Callahan and Norman Scott, and aircraft from Henderson Field on Waddle Canal. The transport ships were attacked several times on 11 and 12 November near Waddle Canal by Japanese aircraft based at Buen, Bougainville, in the Solomons, but most were unloaded without serious damage. Twelve Japanese aircraft were shot down by anti-aircraft fire from the U.S. ships or by fighter aircraft flying from Henderson Field.